For the first time since the University of Memphis turned down an offer to join the Pac-12 and stay put in the American Athletic Conference, we got to speak with Memphis Athletic Director Dr. Ed Scott. In a roughly 25-minute long press conference, Scott said he took a three-pronged approach to the decision, the financial impact on the university, the emotional toll on the fans, and what the future looks like. With those three keys in mind, Scott made the decision to reject the Pac and remain in the AAC, but he made it clear that doesn't mean it's the Tigers' forever home. That was not a binary decision. That was not a no, we're not ever going anywhere. That was based on the offer that was presented in front of us, that we're not taking that offer because we don't think less of ourselves. Sometimes we get enamored by the new and we want to take a bad deal. And that deal was not a good deal for the University of Memphis. That official deal first came across Ed Scott's table on Monday. And he and the university had just hours to make a decision. It was the same for other American schools like Tulane, South Florida and UTSA. Which, as we all know, for all of them, ended with a thanks, but no thanks. In large part for Memphis because the financials just weren't there. But what does that mean? Well, here's some quick maths for you. As a precedent set by SMU, Memphis would have to pay $25 million to leave the American. Scott confirmed today the Pac-12 offered to cover $2.5 million of that, which leaves a pretty hefty gap of $22.5 mil. With no TV rights deal locked in for the new look Pac-12, Scott estimates Memphis would net an additional $500,000 in revenue. But at the end of the day, that only goes so far in chipping away at the buyout deficit. But money was just one issue. Scott also looked at the minimum 20,000 miles projected Tiger teams would travel to compete with the current members of the pack. I don't know any coach in our portfolio that thought us making that move was going to put them in a better position to recruit or a better position to get in the postseason. Since day one of his tenure, Scott has made it clear. His and Memphis's ultimate goal is to compete against the best. And he knows after being snubbed several times by power conferences, that's all fans want too. Emotionally, I understand why people are upset. If you really care about Memphis, then you'd be supporting us now. When I hear people say, I'm not going to buy tickets, and I'm not going to support the programs, you're not really hurting me. You're hurting the student athletes. In five to six years, almost all of the major media rights deals with conferences will be up, which could change the landscape all over again. Whether Memphis makes its move then or earlier, Scott plans to be ready. I'm not hoping for anything. I'm going out trying to earn something. Now, Dr. Scott said the university didn't have time to counter offer with the Pac-12, who are the only conference that has officially offered since Scott took over less than two months ago. Scott said if he gets a call from the Pac again or any other conference for that matter, he'll pick up the phone and listen. He also said if the offer was good enough, he would have left even if the other American schools like UTSA, South Florida and Tulane decided to stay. But for now, Memphis will remain in the American, who it's important to note did not offer any additional revenue to, for Memphis to keep them in there. In studio, I'm Rachel Phillips.